Hey folks, we expect the SEC to finalize its climate disclosure rule very soon. Naturally, some companies will ask, why not wait to see what's in the final rule before starting to prepare? So let's talk about what it will take to get prepared and what are some of the risks if you don't get your ducks in a row? The answer is pretty clear. We're moving from a voluntary reporting environment to a regulated one. When your climate information goes into your 10K filing, your board, CEO, and CFO will be signing off on the information. You're going to need to ensure that you have strong internal controls over the information you're reporting, and you'll need to be able to show your work. And if you've made carbon reduction commitments, you'll have to have a plan backed by data to show how you plan to meet those commitments. Otherwise, what is your plan? Gathering the right information takes time, so the sooner you can get started building your controls and system of record, the better off you'll be for reporting. If the SEC issues comments or otherwise asks questions about your disclosures, you want to be able to show your work. This is the best way to be able to respond if the SEC investigates or asks questions in its filing review process. It's also the best way to be able to defend against greenwashing claims in private litigation. Remember, it doesn't take an Enron-like fiasco to adversely impact your stock price. You wanna be able to show your work and report confidently your climate-related data in order to avoid being in the crosshairs of the SEC or plaintiff's lawyers. Of course, this is more than just a compliance exercise. Increasingly, investors and the public are demanding transparency and we see the effects of climate change all around us. So my advice? I would get started without delay so you can build the controls and systems you need in order to have confidence in your climate reporting. And remember, we're here to help. To learn more about the SEC Climate Disclosure Rule, visit persephone.com slash SEC.